Acts 14. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went, as usual, into the Jewish synagogue. There they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Gentiles believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there speaking boldly for the Lord, who confirmed the message of his grace by enabling them to do miraculous signs and wonders. The people of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews, others with the apostles. There was a plot afoot among the Gentiles and Jews together with their leaders to mistreat them and stone them. But they found out but they found out about it and fled to Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derby and to the surrounding country where they continued to preach the good news. And Lystra there were, there sat a man crippled in his feet who was lame from birth and was, and had never walked he listened to paul as he was speaking paul looked directly at him saw that he had faith to be healed and called out stand up and on your feet at that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Laocanian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus and Paul they called Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifice to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of this. They tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We, too, are only men, human, human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way, yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving the rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides with he provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day he and Barnabas left 
for Derby. They preached the good news in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas joined elders from, uh, appointed elders for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they put their trust. After going through Poseidon, they came into Pamphylium. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From Italia, they went, or they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all the that God had done through them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And they stayed there a long time with the disciples. <clears throat>